Oh boy, draft time. You see, Pat knows a thing or two about drafts because he's been in a thing or two about drafts. And then an orangutan <laughs> announced the fourth round draft pick. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds much cooler in my head. Also, side note, just please bring back Raw and SmackDown DM. Like, uh, it, I miss it. And yes, I guess I still am nostalgic for 2016 SmackDown Live whenever we had like Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon before Shane McMahon got annoying and Stephanie and Mick before Stephanie got cunty. Also, Kurt was great. That, that that's, I know that's just a statement. And there's nothing really to compare it to, but Kurt was great. And Paige didn't have time to be SmackDown GM because she got fucked. And no, not in the porno way. <laughs> the Tribal Chief! Yes! Thank you, Sonya and Adam Pearce! Doing a much better job than Roger Goodell! We'll be going to Monday Night Raw! A genius decision was made! We keep the Tribal Chief! After some more draft selections, the Tribal Chief comes out, and now time for a classic face-off! Oh yeah! Rock and Roman. Whoa, boy! The bloodline gets taken to Suplex City because Roman can't stop punching people. We then move on to KO versus Corbin, in which Happy Corbin wins. We also get Drew coming to SmackDown. <laughs> All the dream matches will come true. Also, Nelson cut to Pat saying, Big Ass Sword. <laughs> we then get a fun Seth Edge promo with Rollins pulling an edge. This is a majestic segment, honestly, and, uh, and like legitimately probably one of my favorite heel segments. It would have been cooler if it was like Rollins, you know, like holding a you know handheld camera or phone. We also get an FTR reference with you know the Daniel David. I'm calling Daniel and David. And Carmella beats up Liv. We then get some more draft picks and a pointless tag match. Also, New Day are separated again. Boo. Finally, we get Sasha versus Bianca. But I'm running out of time because I want to catch up with these Raw and SmackDown. So, just got the Charlotte intervening, and I'll just say six out of ten.